Oh my goodness. This is one of the reasons I came to the Philippines. So the mango here in Cebu is like the best in the Philippines. <laughs> the view at night will be so good. Hello beautiful people, you're welcome to another vlog here in Cebu, the Philippines. So that sound you're hearing, it's my mango juice they are preparing. I'm at this amazing restaurant to have lunch. And this restaurant has a 360 view, so let me show you that first. So the view here is so breathtaking, like, oh my goodness. This is one of the reasons I came to the Philippines for this right here. The Philippines has it all, nature, everything, like just imagine this. We have um, water at this side, you know, and then we have the high-rise buildings. You can see them, you know, scattered around in there. Then we have the mountain view over there. So in my next video, I think I'm gonna show you more of the mountain view. I'm gonna go closer to the mountains, I think. From here, I'm gonna go there. And you can see that road. You know, this is a good view of Cebu from here, as a matter of fact. This restaurant gives a 360 view. So we are gonna go around. The view is breathtaking, so breathtaking. Um, the, the sunset from here is also really amazing and um, wow, I really love it. I love any place that gives me this kind of view and that is why I love Tegete, I love Baguio and now Cebu again. I mean, I think everywhere in the Philippines you're going to get some good views, you know, if you can go high up. This is really good. This restaurant has outdoor seating areas as well. It looks really interesting. So you have this kind of seating all over it goes all the way around so we're just gonna go around and see everywhere one good thing about here is that it's it's really quiet really really quiet out here so imagine sitting here you know with a group this place can take like 15 people I guess and then we have another big one over there so yesterday this place was all filled up you know because of Cinelog everywhere I went to was all filled up so this is more of the city I've not really gone out much because obviously the activities, the synologue and all of that and I just thought I should rest a little bit also. Wow. Construction is going on here. So I'm guessing this, you know, years down the line, all these little houses <laughs> are going to be knocked down and skyscrapers are going to come up here that's you know what usually happens when a city is developing so like this one here in the middle here that you know is ongoing maybe there's a chance it was a small building that was knocked off this place i wonder what it is so much greenery and um, fields I wonder what is going on here all around here where there are no houses I pray that it's preserved may this place be preserved <laughs> I love greenery and I just hope they can preserve that as much as a city develops it's always good to preserve some nature as well all right let's see the other side we're gonna do like a full 360 you know, to get to see everything. The restaurant is called um, 360 Deck Restaurant, something like that. I'm gonna find out what it really is because I saw a poster. Okay, here it is. So let's just look at it. Oh, Sky Deck 360. Okay, that's what it's called. The view at night will be so good. I'll try to come back at night <laughs> just to show you guys. You know, when everywhere just lights up. Well, starting from the, the sunset, that's gonna be very pretty. But I'm not going to be here during the sunset because I want to go show you guys somewhere else. But this is another wing of, you know, this building. So if you can see over there, we have a Yala Malls. So that is IT Park. IT Park is very, very close to this place. Like you can literally just walk to IT Park, but there is no road to walk through here. So you have to go turn and turn and turn, but it's just beside it. That's IT Park right there. You can see a Yala Mall, see Skyrise Building, Cedar that right there is IT Park 
and I was there a few days ago. I did a video from that place. The place that is called the BGC of Cebu. So you can check out that video. I really enjoyed my time at IT Park. On my next visit to Cebu, I'm gonna try to stay at IT Park. I like it there, it's so lively, so buzzing. This area, this place where I'm staying is super quiet. <laughs> super, super quiet. Yeah, but if you want like a staycation, you know, and all of that is really cool. The place has a gym, has a swimming pool. I'm gonna to try to show you the amenities. It all depends, you know, on what you're looking for. So this is another side of the building. We're closer to the mountain here. It's obstructed by this building right here, but at least you can get a good sense of the place, right? So that is what it is. This is a, actually a complete 360 view but that's it we've seen everything all right so my meal is here little meal we have um club sandwich some fries and fresh mango juice so the mango here in Cebu is like the best in the Philippines <laughs> it's really good mm, that is so good Cebu has the best mango even in Manila, I usually buy the Cebu mango, you know. <laughs> so being here in Cebu, I have to like eat it to the fullest. I have it in my fridge, you know, in my room. I always have that. So let's see this. Well, fries is fries. <laughs> so let's try this. So there's veggies in there. There's cabbage, eggs, tomatoes, ham yeah cheese so let's see what it tastes like yeah good just as i imagined it mm. yeah that's good But this is the best. Mm. I should be sitting outside. Outside looks like fun, but it's so windy out there. Super, super windy. If I want to sit there, it'll just be so cold. So inside is okay, you know, small and cozy. So when I'm done with my meal, I want to take you guys to somewhere very special here in Cebu. So that's going to be my next video. All right. I've really, really enjoyed my time here in Cebu. You know, yeah, I came during Cinelog Festival and it was really good attending everything. You know, the whole vibe everywhere I went to, you hear the Cinelog music. And you know what? I used to think that when I hear one music for, you know, a while, I would get tired of it. But have you seen the Cebu music since I got here? like um from you know the building where i stay at the reception they've been playing that music 24 like two four seven round the clock every time i come out come in you know the music is always blasting everywhere you go to same music you're hearing the same music for uh, like five days that i've been here i've been hearing the same music everywhere plus yesterday the grand parade but guess what i still love it <laughs> i'm not tired of it and i think i'm gonna miss it when i go back to manila <laughs> I can't wait to come back to Cebu. I will come back to Cebu. I mean, it just take a flight and come down here. I wonder why I didn't come all this while. You know, it's, it's really cool. I'm going to come again and um, also visit other places around here like Ilo Ilo. You guys have really told me in the comments to go to Ilo Ilo for another festival coming up on the 28th. But I already have something in Manila, unfortunately. So I have to go back to Manila because I have, you know, I'm scheduled to attend something in Manila. So I'm going to be missing that festival this time around, but I'll definitely go to Ilo Ilo very soon. I really love Ilo Ilo, everything I've heard about it, like from you guys and from others as well. So Ilo Ilo City is a place I really want to go. Maybe in April or thereabout, I'm going to be in Ilo Ilo City. So when I go back to Manila, um, I have some other trips planned. Like I um, need to go to Baguio again for the festival in Baguio. And then go to vegan, you know, go to the north, try and see the north a little bit, you know. So we're going to come back to Cebu. But I have totally enjoyed my time here, to be honest. It's been fun. 
you know i love 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 you know filipinos they are so friendly so warm so hospitable so even though i came here solo i didn't feel like alone or lonely or anything because filipinos are so friendly and thanks for the support you guys i saw your comments thank you so much and um, do subscribe if you are seeing my video for the first time subscribe to the channel give the video a like a thumbs up and also turn on your post notifications so every time i share a new vlog you'll be notified and you get to watch it i want to show you guys the amenities here just in case you are interested in staying here when you come to Cebu or want a staycation yeah so this is a pool right it's an interesting pool <laughs> so you can chill here at the pool area this pool is always like fun <laughs> at night you know so many people come out love to come out here at night I for one my best time to swim is at night I really don't like swimming during the daytime at all I love doing that at night so this is always fun at night you know you have people hanging out here a lot and all let me show you guys the gym as well let's let's go to the gym so this place is um, a condo hotel you know it's not a full hotel hotel but there's a hotel here and they also have rooms that are like private um, units that are private like the one I'm staying right I didn't get it from the hotel I got it from like the owner of the unit yeah so it can be on like um, Airbnb or something right so that's basically how it is so you can actually stay in the hotel the, the name is Novo let me let me see I got their sleep um, Noble <laughs> noble hotel yeah noble Cebu. noble Cebu. that is the name so you can check it out and um you can stay here it's a very nice place like super super chill okay let me show you the gym then i'll show you something out there so that's the gym people are inside working out obviously it's hard to find a place empty because there are so many units here let's have like a quick one quite standard everything you need is here you know you can actually use that while you're here and if you have kids you know kids love the outdoors there's so much you know to do out here so much space to chill this area is always really cool at night as well We're just connected to the to the pool area it's actually a nice place to stay <laughs> sorry that i said it was too quiet i mean it all depends on what you want you know i love i'm a city girl i love like woo, the hustle and bustle but when there's a time i just want to come and chill and do nothing you know just a staycation then this is good but it's just because i came during synologue so that's why i felt like it was quiet so we have this as well you know we have fountain lights and all of that Let, let's try to climb one of the bridges Yep, so 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 you can actually climb here and get into the middle, sit here and just chill. You can see people sitting, you know, on my left and my right, there are people sitting just it's calming, right? Just chill here and relax. I personally like this place. Just sit here just relax you know water has a way of calming me i don't know about you guys you know yeah so greenery fresh air and everything very cool place so you can stay here if you want it's also pet friendly yeah it's a pet friendly place <laughs> so you can come with your pets and stay there are so many pets here like see this one's in front of me Wow, it's so nice. So yeah, you can come stay here if you want. It's a cool place. So I am on my way to this amazing place here in Cebu, which you're gonna see in the next video. So, you know, check out the next video I'll be posting. So I just wanna go check that out. This is my last day here in Cebu on this particular trip. I'll be back in Manila tomorrow. Thank you, Cebu. I've enjoyed my time here.